Bonjour and hello to every YouTubers from the UK and beyond. I am proud to bring you my honorary message regarding of two reasons. One, the Remembrance Day and Remembrance Sunday and two, a tribute to our late Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II. Despite my autism, I always brought up since 1996 at the period when I was unable to talk, even had problems to communicate and losing confidence, I clearly did understand how and why a remembrance is a very important tradition for every part of the UK, overseas and their territories beyond today. When God give our heroes from Britain their memorable time of free and safe times to the kingdom of heavens, I clearly assure my family, friends and supporters a legacy of respect I always will treasure and always will do. Sometimes because of my autism and sometimes because of the extraordinary story which I'm honoured to review you. By the time I was growing up, with my autism and my ADHD before I wanted to be a filmmaker, my unidentified oldest brother did serve his time in the Royal Anglian Regiment based on the Rock of Gibraltar. During his period with his regiment forces at the, at the forces time in Afghanistan, one of his friends, who I won't identify also, died in front of my oldest brother. At the time when I was a younger teenager, at this point, I never knew anything about it, that his, my brother's friend's legacy and anything particularly regarding of Gibraltar till 2012. So therefore, I studied how Gibraltar was so interesting, supportive to the British citizens with their bravery and kindness before it was an overseas city of Great Britain. In my theory, I always loved Gibraltar today. Whenever they got monkeys or presenting themselves as British overseas citizens, I know how Gibraltar is always my favourite isle or favourite overseas country to see their main cultures of the Gibraltarian lifestyles in the future. If it was wasn't for my oldest brother, so that's why after seeing the front entrance of the Royal Anglian Regiment forces in Gibraltar. My sympathy for my oldest brother will remain with him always due to his friend's death in Afghanistan years ago. That's how I am honoured to represent Remembrance Sunday and Remembrance Day too, as it's not a nasty or a morbid sign of humanity, but it's also our human rights to remember and honour the legacy of the realities of today's countries. Those that may recall it Veteran Day or Remembrance Day, I totally understand the main glimpse of why Gibraltar and many other territories and former overseas territories are incredibly important during this special day. And so, I am finally here, proudly and honourably, to talk about a small memory and, and the legacy respect of our late Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. In Easter 2022, when we heard that the Queen Elizabeth was poorly or had a bad illness, I had done something incredibly inspiring in hoping that the Queen would continue standing for our country. For example, I sent a Get World card featuring an artwork of our late Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth which happens I did features on a very inspiring short film which is perhaps available to look up on Vimo. On the 24th of April 2022, the Queen's lady in writing at the time wrote a special letter and she sent a massive thank you for the special card I happened to post to the Buckingham Palace which hoping that the Queen would have loved it. The final special letter I had did also got the second time was on the 30th of August 2022 after I did actually made an inspiring book 
the autistic side of love. And soon after I heard that the Queen was losing her confidence after her illness, I sent her her only copy of my book, The Autistic Side of Love, before her death was announced, before Prince Charles was crowned as the new king. This was an inspiring fact that soon before her death has occurred, I would have felt very honoured to say that I always will remember the Queen from my heart and soul as a British citizen of today. Not only because she's always will be the Queen of Heaven, but I totally get the glimpse that the Queen was so happy and proud she would always understood my autism and many people who would have cheered for the Queen with autism and their normal lives. Not only the book was interesting, but it was also loved by the Queen too. When she first saw the book from the post, she was so thankful for her wonderful support for me and my family. In any circumstances, most importantly, I will definitely always remember Her Majesty the Queen up in heaven. And if you're interested to see more of my book, the Autistic Side of Love. It is available on Amazon today since 2021. And last but not least, more importantly, have a great, safe Remembrance Sunday in honour of Our Majesty the Queen and God Save the King.